Yo, what's going on, sexy Samalander squad? How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing fantastic. If this is the only video you watch today, then you got to get the same intro as the other one. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna play Osiris today. Let me tell you why. First, let's change our skin because I've used the Leonardo skin forever. <laughs> you guys are sick and tired of it. Uh, I'm playing Osiris because Mast played Osiris in one of his recent videos. He mentioned my name, and boy. I, I understand why Mast gets more viewers than me. I really do. And I don't mean this. And I know some people are going to are gonna say, Oh man, look, he, he's like, he's insulting Mast or like he's, uh, he's comparing himself or something. But listen, he gets more viewers than me because I watched some of his videos today. Like I, I, uh, someone told me that he said something about me. So I went to go watch his videos and I ended up watching four fucking videos. <laughs> like, I watched so many of his videos today. Well, laying in bed before I started recording my own because he's just got a way about him. He's so nice and he's so personable and he's so talkative and kind. And I just, you know, I want to do videos with him. And I made it, I mean, obviously I want to do videos with it. I made it very clear. Oh, hello. Medhusa. Oh, I've made a mistake. Never mind. He missed all his autos. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. Big vibe. Big vibe. I missed. You missed two? <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh, he's mad. I don't have. Wait, why did I get beads, bro? Oh, I lived. Oh, no. The mannequins plus the tick damage. Well, I get beads. That was a mistake. I don't know why I got beat. Well, at least when he alts me, I can still run at his face. At least I got that going for me. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. My caffeinated personality, as I like to call it. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little personality uh, update, if you will. <laughs> That's basically what caffeine does to people. You're not yourself when uh, before you're caffeinated. Well, I mean, I am. I don't really change that much. I just get a little bit more energetic, but my personality doesn't change. A lot of people's whole personality changes based on whether they've had their coffee or not. Like if you see them at, at the office or or uh, just even on the street or at the airport or something and they haven't had their coffee, you would think that, that something horrible had happened because they just would not have any kind of personability towards them. <laughs> but... And then you give them a cup of coffee and they're the life of the party. You know what I mean? Like, that's how some people's life is. But that's that's not quite how mine is. Mine is more, um, I don't, I, I don't talk very much if I'm not caffeinated. Like, that's, that's just how I am. But I'm not mean. Like, I, I'm, all, I'm, I'm the same way I always am. I'm just more outspoken about it, I suppose. Hello, I'm going to alt you. Well, that didn't work out. I did alt him. I mean, that, that part worked, but like getting the kill, the, the kill didn't work. The, the whole like getting a lead from alting him aspect didn't actually work out the way I wanted it to. I will stop you. Uh, I'll stop your back here because I don't want you to actually press your B button because that would be annoying for me. So I'm going to go ahead and blop that up there. You're going to be very scared and run away. I'm going to do this and group up all the minions so I can AOE them down slowly. Auto attack the oh man I was almost dead almost dead um he might have itch of all because he did kill me he's a couple hundred gold ahead I think he probably will have itch of all actually no he bought a chalice with that money so in order to combat the gold disadvantage that I currently have at the moment because again he killed me I'm gonna have to probably not buy a chalice this game and keep my potion purchases to a minimum one potion each each back is probably going to be my maximum limit um and yeah i'm gonna have to gonna have to unfortunately take some towie some towie damage but i you know i'm doing i'm definitely doing good here oh that's not good Can I fight you, please? Oh, you're tanky. 
or maybe you're not tanky and i like neither of us have any damage and so maybe you you might you might seem slightly tanky but in reality like we both just have a ton of survivability and no damage which is more than likely the case especially because he has a chalice and meditation and all i have is a beads <laughs> so definitely the case here but i'm gonna go ahead and back not gonna push my luck with um with that fight even though I, maybe i could have because i had the red buff i could have had a little bit of an extra hand when it comes to damage in that fight but it's still more risky than i would have liked especially when i'm down there's no point in risking anything like that if you're really really far down like i'm talking like i'm four kills down and 2k gold or something then absolutely risk it you know you're already losing the game you might as well go for the good play go go for the hero play and and come out on top that would be sick um but you know in a case like this the game is definitely not even close to over i i got time i don't need to do anything crazy like that uh he is doing his blue uh are you gonna come in this direction or back the beta way it looks like ding 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 medusa is the beta so he's not gonna come this direction i'm gonna go ahead and clear and back and what are we gonna do after that i want to go breastplate breastplate is sick mid guardian obviously is the other choice which is what he's going um but yeah that, that's obviously the other choice i think mid guardian would be good here but you know what can i say i like my breastplate i don't mind okay i win this fight 100 percent of the time i win this fight 100 percent of the time literally 100 percent slow i did hit the slow i did hit the slow you're dead a million percent here a million percent awesome very very nice kill very very huge kill there might not seem like it because to you guys it might just be like well sam you are already doing pretty good talking through everything you know you, you know what's going on you're already doing good but that kill is actually huge and let me tell you why because now He's not ahead of me in gold. He's not going to finish these power spikes uh, before me. We're going to be able to finish them at the same time, depending on who backs first or when we get like scenarios to back or whatever. But and my item is cheaper than his item as well. Not by much. It's very minuscule, but it is different. I'm just trying to poke a little bit. That's all That's all my game plan is right now. Just poking. Poking, poking, poking. This should spawn sooner than the red buff, which is what I'm banking on. Maybe I'm crazy. I definitely don't want to give him red buff. That would suck. Is he here? He's not here. All right. He's actually just giving me red. That is definitely a mistake. Okay, well, that sucks. Missing the alt. I mean, that, that that literally never feels good. So I don't, I definitely don't have to say that out loud. Like, oh, miss the alt. That's not a good play. Like everyone knows, everyone knows that if you miss the alt, you're probably kind of pissed about it. But that being said, I am just going to keep going ahead. He did have the uh, ability to back and get his power spike, so I'm not actually going to contest anything here. If he does fight me, I'm not going to hit him. I'm just going to just going for my buffs and leaving. Nothing crazy about it. The reason I walked over here rather than back was because I wanted to make sure he's not doing bull demon. And look what he did, bull demon. I can't actually stop him, which sucks, but also kind of understandable. I'm going to go Kins here. A little bit more damage. He shouldn't be able to take my tower. I should be able to win a fight. Um, I believe. Because Mid Guardian and Itchwall, they don't actually stack attack speed slows anymore. Uh, they just give the movement speed. So that Mid Guardian is just for the movement speed slow. And obviously it gives him a ton of HP, which makes him way more survivable than I am right now. But I am Osiris and I have percent mitigation. As well as obviously some defense of my, my own. Um, I do have more more protection than him, but he has more HP than me. So that's kind of the trade-off that we're getting with these different uh, these different builds we have. 
and I'm gonna go thorns here. I, I again, I have beads, so I'm definitely at a disadvantage in terms of build. But that was just uh like kind of a brain dead. You you log in, you pick a you pick a relic that you don't care about, and you, you just play because you're you're being a dingus. You know what I mean? Definitely don't win the fight. Um, you might win this fight because of that med. Yeah, that med. That med. Dang. I don't have my... I So, I need Toxic Blade. I need Toxic Blade. Look at my damage. My damage was so much higher than his. I also held my thorns slightly too long, in my opinion. I was I, sh I could have thorns when, uh, when he ulted. And I beadsed the ult. But, um... I didn't thorns it. That was probably what turned the, the tide of the fight. If I had thorns it, that would have been an extra, you know, 50, 60 damage there, which easily would have won the fight for me. So that's my misplay there. Cost me my tower and my life. Unfortunately, sucks quite a bit. Quite a big suck there, if you ask me. Hopefully, I can get this red buff and uh, make some sort of a comeback. I do have a... Uh, what is it? Mannequins. So that's going to help a lot. I do want to go Kins because he's got a ton of HP. He actually has more HP than me right now. So going Kins for my, my first kind of damage item is going to be really nice. He's more than likely going to go Kins as well, but um, he can afford it right now, actually. Judging by his dash away. So we're going to hit this power spike at the same time as well. Oh, never mind. I actually am still quite a bit away. Quite a bit away. I want to get the timing down on this bull demon. I don't want him to be able to sneak it like he did last time. That that sucked. Where do you think you're... Um, And I think I'm going to back here. Wait in base for, for my kins. You shouldn't be able to get my tower. You might be able to hit like it once or twice or something while I'm running up, but yeah, that's fine. And I do have that timer on Bull Demon, so don't you worry. He got Aussie, which is good because he has meditation too. But once I get my Toxic Blade online, I'm going to go Toxic Blade and Stone Cutting Sword, and you are screwed, my friend. You're screwed. I don't know where he is. I didn't see him at Bull Demon, which does scare me. Is that, I feel like he's trying to sneak it. He was trying to sneak it. Fly dog. Um. Okay. Dang, he upgraded that, uh, he upgraded that Sunder, too. He did use everything there, though. He did use his Sunder, his alt, and his Meditation. I used everything as well, but I think he relies a lot more on his, his stuff than I do. Like, I think I win this fight right here, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he relies on his relics way more than I do, so uh, getting those relics out of him is much better for me than it is for him. Even though we both use the same amount of stuff, you really have to be able to understand which which character is relying more on these these actives or these these usables or consumables or something in these fights. And then if you are obviously the one that's not relying on them as much. You got to be able to understand that, trade your stuff for their stuff, and then win that fight. And that's exactly what happened there, which is amazing because I can contest the red buff right now. He still won't have anything up. He might have one of the Sunders up, which, you know, would suck. Um, I do really want to contest this red. Five HP. Man, that, uh, that thing had five HP when I was done with it, when I hit it. Um, I am down to fight this. All right, never mind. I have not hit a single alt all game. That's not up. 
unfortunately, but also okay. It's not bad. Oh, when's your blue up? When's your blue up? <sighs> Pretty soon. It's all right, I got time to clear one wave. He backed, so I'm not that nervous about it. He's going into a more than likely Kins. I had to guess, and I am guessing. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in my guess for Kins. Could be Xy, but I'm not actually that like defensive. I just have percent mitigations and a decent amount of HP. Don't scare me. Actually, I'll pick this up. Why not? Why not? Why wouldn't I? You got the red buff. Might as well get something. I'll grab Toxic Blade now, which is gigantic for me. Lowers his Aussie and his meditation. Huge, huge play. And now I'm going to go Stone Cutting Sword, which is something he can't buy. And um, I also I also want to go Berserker Shield, actually. I don't know which one's better, Stone Cutting or Berserkers. Stone Cutting does give me more defense. So if that is a Kins, then, um, then Stone Cutting might be the play. But Berserker Shield actually gives me more defense, does it not? Am I crazy? So he actually did get Xe instead of um, Kins. Ouch. Damage. Not cool. It's okay, though. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Nope. Not today. Um, Bull Demon is spawning. I'm going to grab tier one of this just because I want to get over there quickly. And it gives 10% attack speed. It's a pretty, uh, pretty great 600 gold item. He is going to be able to do that. Uh, the Bull Demon, that is, because he does mucho DPS. Um, and I am not going to fight him because I guess he has it warded, huh? Seems like he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows and he's scared. Let me look up the stats here. 50 power, 7% movement speed, berserker. Okay, maybe don't look up the stats while he's clearing the wave. Very nice. Let's go. There it is. Huge kill. Huge kill. Um, Berserker Shield is definitely the way to go here. Just staring at those stats is it really hits you straight in the mouth when you when you look at the stats. Like this gives you forty power, which is only ten power less. It gives you five percent. It gives you ten power less, five more physical protection, twenty five percent attack speed, and ten percent pen. It's so much better than stone cutting, and he can't buy this item either, so it's pretty good. Um, I do want to get the red buff. Want to make sure that I get the red buff. That is the second time he's gotten Bull Demon and not been able to push it, which is amazing. He did use his relics again, and like we said last time, he's relying more on those relics than I am. So I should be able to win that fight right now. Um, in fact, I'm actually confident enough to do it under tower. All right, cool. I was confident enough to dive that tower and actually not look like a fool, surprisingly. Are we back here? He's not going to be able to catch up to us, hopefully. Still can't afford the Berserkers, but I'm not too far off. I'm not too far off. Um, Should be able to get this blue buff and be able to... Of uh, I don't know what just happened there. But I should be able to get this blue buff and afford a Berserker Shield. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to say, but there we are. We said it. Came out confidently. Okay. I am okay if you want to just do this because uh, while you do get your kin size, I get my Berserker Shield. And my Berserker Shield, just going to be factual here, much better. It's a much bigger power spike for me. Much bigger. He might be doing Bull Demon. I'm not quite sure if it's up or not yet. I actually didn't clear the, the timer on it, which is a mistake by my part. But if he does it again, I'm sure we can defend. We've been, we've been defending all day. We've been defending all day. Nothing new if he grabs that. I do want to get the timer now. If I can. Thank you. Oh, pretty soon, actually. 
kind of juicy there. I'm about, that might that one, that one right there. That might be my, that might be my bull demon. Now I could be talking at my butt right now because he did just back and finish that kins, but I don't know, man. My damage is pretty nasty. I do pump the numbies. He's at the minion wave. He can't get over here in time, I don't think. Well, I don't know. He does have an ult that's relatively long range, so. All right, perfect. That is a bull demon for me. And he hasn't been able to fight me while he has bull demon. He definitely can't fight me while I have bull demon. There's no shot. I'm going to let this uh, the spear wear out. And then I will go fight him if I need to. But it looks like he's just backing off. And I'm just going to punch this in the head. I'm just going to be punching it. I do have a decent amount of regen. Thank you, Bull Demon. And I am going to ult him. I'll run away. My goal right here is not to kill him and win the game. My goal is simply to get the Phoenix and get away. And that is all I want to do. Grab Phoenix and get away. I wanted his blue buff, but if, you know, if I can't get your blue buff, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm just going to go for my red then. Are you chasing me? Is he following me? Where'd he go? <laughs> All right. Red buff secured. And I think here I will go mannequin mace. Why mace instead of hidden blade? Because it's much easier with him as a ranged character. It's much easier for him to get first hit on me. And not to mention, because I'm a melee character, archers can hit me and put me in combat before. So that Hidden Blade passive isn't actually going to do much for me. Because it, it would be a very rare occurrence that I actually get the passive off. But this gives me 50 basic attack power. A slight amount of uh, protection. Not, not, not too much. First ult that we've hit all game. Keep that in mind. Huge. Actually huge. Um... I have everything up except alt obviously i just used it but you know i have i have my main my main up and i do a crap ass ton of damage so i think we are vibing i think we're vibing i'm not gonna go for the kill or anything ridiculous right here but i am gonna stop by the blue buff center kill up my pokemon over there if you know what i'm trying to say and maybe i i would actually love some lifesteal but i think this breastplate is doing a lot for me believe it or not so i'm not actually gonna sell it that mannequin mace is doing some numbies too look at that 339 to him that's a good amount of numbies there's no reason for me to upgrade my beads here it's not like he's alting me on cooldown and if, even if he is um if i don't have beads i can always just turn like beads is definitely not necessary in this matchup and in fact, if I had Blink, or if I had Shell, or if I had Meditation, or if I had any of these other items, um, I would probably have won the game already. So, the Beads was definitely a bad play. If you plan on playing this matchup, or just Osiris in general, maybe maybe Beads isn't the, the best go-to, like, yeah, let's, let's lock this in type deal, you know what I mean? Alright, I want to just get this right here. Okay. I am okay with this. This is all down. And Bull Demon is coming up again shortly. I'm going to corner him here. See where he goes. Looks like he's going for the wave, but I do want to corner him. I think I win this fight still. I am quite a bit of gold down, but if I get to jump on him, I should win it. Especially with my three. Ooh. Ballsy play. All, right, all of his ones are over, which means he has no fight left in him. And actually, his dash is down. Huge alt here. Big slow. And that should be the game over. GG. Well played. What a good game. A lot of uh, a lot of fun fights in that one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check out the other videos today. I love you guys as always. Until next time. Peace.